Right then, good morning. We are here at Barry Sidings uh, Country Park. My spiritual homeland of South Wales. I'm English through and through, but God, I do love this place. We're out here with this beast of a bike. Just going to get her fine-tuned, ready to go racing. We've got the first round of the British National Enduro Series next weekend. Hopefully, with all the uh, scares of a certain virus going around, it's still going to be on. But anyway, we're going to head out, get it set up, and just enjoy some amazing trails here. Let's get it. Right then, so we're at the top of the climb and we've now got a huge descent coming up, which I'm super excited about. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna tweak the rebound settings on the fork and shock slightly. I opened them all the way up just so that I have a benchmark starting point, but already I can feel that the shock is way too lively. And I just wanna tone the fork down a bit. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna drop in. Now, some of you might be wondering, why on earth, Greg, have you come all the way to South Wales to set up a bike? Well, this place called Barry Sidings Screw it, let's go for a ride. Now I do have some excuses. This one's only valid this lap, it is the first one. This is my first lap, so that's my excuse for this one. Also, my front brake is, I'm pretty sure the pads are contaminated after I've bled them really poorly. Oh, f***ing hell. Oh. Yeah, first lap went well. Okay, we'll see if we can ride this bit. It's probably going to result in another crash. I hope not. But... So as you can see, I'd split my shin pretty badly, as well as taking a handlebar to the ribs. So riding this bit was quite daunting. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Oh, my leg. Starting to ache now. Really starting to drop. Oh. Well, that's the techie bit done, I think. <laughs> right. Oh. Wow. Let's see if we can finish the runoff, at least. Might need to go and get some food. No, this bit don't go too fast. So with my shin pissing blood and my ribs really hurting at this point, I was taking it quite gently. There is a double just here. Um, if you watch Kai Grocott's Instagram, I'll put his handle in the description, you'll see how insane that double is. So fair play to him for sending that one. Oh. Go and do some turns. I slowed the rebound down on the fork quite dramatically because I think that's playing a part in my unstableness. Go and do some turns. Leg is really throbbing. But I do feel like that. Like the slower rebound is helping. There's a drop there. Really showcasing my uh, talent here. My initial talent. <laughs> Good morning for the second time this video then. It's actually afternoon now. I'm at Swinley Forest, I'm at the downhill tracks, and I'm here from some redemption. Leg and ribs are feeling all right. It was a pretty hefty crash yesterday, so just gonna take it chilled, warm up and see how we get on. Hopefully get this bike dialed in and race ready. So enough of the nonsense, boys. Let's have it. Okay, start off on the left and work my way over to the right. Right, goes round, up, that's the line that I missed. Oh, this loam is beautiful. That's not so much. Ah, oh, 
It's a nice fun track, that one. Try to highline it. Oh, it works. I don't know if it's as fast though. A little double coming up somewhere around here. Not here. There. Smooth and closely. Now we're doing the classic. Baby maker some jumps. Don't know about the leap today. Might have to wait and see. go race pace on baby maker so as many of you have probably figured out at this point of the video the race that I'm talking about was in fact cancelled the first round of the British National Enduro series was pulled due to this COVID-19 scare um, I am still going to be heading up to Edinburgh um, to go and see my parents um, I'm also going to be going and doing quite a few laps up on the golfy and um, getting some good steep technical riding in in prep for when race season might actually kick off. Um, so aside from that, I just wanted to say everyone stay safe, everyone stay happy, go and ride your bikes and have an absolute blast. Nice one, but Stone came. Right, I'm gonna do another one on Baby Maker, purely because I'm not quite happy with the turns at the top and the bottom. I feel that there's more speed to be had. Let's get back up this climb and send it. Better. Got line. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Here we go. Turns for days. I love climbing. Not. Let's speed this up, shall we? Go! Stonking effort, but let's have it. Try not to lose the front end this time. Down about here. 
right. I can in the cut line. Ah, mess that up. There we go. Right, push off and have a bit of a chill on the Johnson Bay Maker. Right, this is, and I quote, you can quote me on this, a chilled run down baby maker. And then I made it home. Don't want to clean up and get ready for work tomorrow. Should be fun, here we go. Boy, sucks. Ah, oh, these turns are good. Right. Uh, 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 uh. Right, home time. So after the disaster of yesterday, I decided not to hit the Wilkins Leap today, purely because I know that if I get it wrong, that is my race weekend written off in a week's time. And that's ultimately why I'm out here riding at the moment, is to train for that. So I've decided not to. I am just trying to find my way back to the car park I think I know the way but it's been an awesome weekend a huge shout out to my really good friends Garen and Chelsea soon to be married I might add I'm looking forward to that they've been absolute beautiful hosts and now I'm on my way back to my own good lady to finish the weekend off perfectly so remember kids stay bright and we'll see you next time we're up at Inners racing the first round of the British National Enduro Series let's get it yeah